top five groups. I can't even really just name because I only know well, the I, lit. I'm finna tell you my top five groups. Yeah. Number one is UGK. UGK. What's up, huh? Number one is UGK. Number two, A Ball MJG. Okay. Number three, Goody Mob. Number four, I'm gonna say that whole state prop movement. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, the whole state prop. The team. whole state prop movement because yeah, okay. they, they was a group. Yeah. They put out a group C album. Yeah. Stay property. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And number five, I'm going to say Red Man and Method Man, man. Yeah. Mine a little bit different, a little bit of the same. I fuck with the whole Goody Mob, but I can't put the whole Goody Mob. I'm just going to say Outkast. The early wait, wait, Outkast wait, work. Yeah. yeah. The early Outkast work was phenomenal to me, bro. Like, that Aquamanai. Uh, <laughs> uh, the player shit that they was hey, dropping. I'll, hey, if you go and listen to that shit, so many production niggas. Production is better than niggas' production to now. Today. Go back now. and listen to Aquamanai, niggas. Go back and listen to those early AT Aliens, bro. AT Aliens. You yeah. see, and I hear, I hear niggas sampling those beats and using some of those phrases. And I forgot where well, I heard that shit. And I hear niggas say something off there. I goes and listen to the. Yeah. Currency uses a lot of them phrases a hey, lot, nigga. I go like, and listen to that shit like every night. The storytelling, the yeah, everything. Yeah, man. Them niggas is the first niggas to use trap on an album. Them is the first niggas to use trap on an actual album. You know yeah. what I'm saying? So that's a that's a key factor. Them niggas a big factor in the game. Of course, UGK. Of course, A Ball and MJG. I gotta throw Three Six Mafia up there. I, I got to throw 3-6 yeah. Mafia because they was a big influence on the nigga. Like, I used to jam they shit. I used to jam 3-6 a lot, too. I said 3-6. Uh, yeah, and maybe one more. one more group. Man, it's a tie. Because it's two groups that had a motherfucking big influence on the nigga. And they both was crazy. But one, I actually knew the lyrics. West Side Connection. Right. And motherfucking Bone Thugs and Harmony. Right. right. Between West Side Connection and Bone Thugs and Harmony. Right. I couldn't understand all the Bone Thugs and Harmony lyrics and, and shit. But they shit was jammed. They shit jammed. They controlled yeah. the airways for right. what, three years? Yeah. About three years. They was them niggas. They had to run with Easy. Then they continued on. And it was all dope. Uh, West Side Connection. They was doing their little thing. It's like I used to listen to that shit every day. Yeah, Gangsters make the world, world go around, around. And, and, and yeah. Dub C getting on that shit and yeah. doing his shit. Yeah, man. You I know what I'm saying? Like, I like old Mac. I ain't gonna say I used to like. I like Mac 10. Yeah. And, and then that goes to the aspect of two it's other people right outside of that realm. I was a late bloom on Wu Tang Clan. Right. I'll right, say right, that. Right, I was a late right, bloom on right. Wu Tang Clan, but them but niggas. See, I, that's why I like. I like more of Method Man and Red Man yeah. in the Wu Tang. Yeah, I got. I, I was I late on Capadonna, Rizza, all of them, but them niggas was lit. Uh, the Locks. The Locks. You can't forget about the Locks. Yeah. Uh, J when I first got hip to Jada, I was in seventh grade. My partner put me on them, and I was like, man, this nigga's just hard as fuck. And I mean, I heard them on the Biggie album, but I really wasn't respecting them as their own entity at that time. Then when I got with them on their own, they when locks we on the streets, jump. Jada that nigga. Styles got something. Styles is that nigga. Like it's it's a different style. Right. But he that nigga. She got something too. They all it's a collective as a collective came to the game and gave they I whole. Like, I like how they did Diddy, man. What? <laughs> how they came at Diddy. They took, that nigga Diddy talking about. Oh man, we can meet anytime. Oh yeah. That nigga that nigga that nigga kiss said, Diddy, we have tried to meet with you. Yeah. He said, nigga, you got the whole name. How you got that fun, that funny ass yeah. voice? The National Guard is at the door, son. How we gonna get in there? Be like <laughs> that nigga there. Oh, Shout out yeah. to Jada, man. Yeah, man, man that, that was my shit too, dog. Jada kiss that locks we on the yeah. streets. Everybody's a snake. That's why I gotta keep the grass cut. So I could see them when they coming, then I heat they ass up. Like yeah. that nigga Jada was that nigga too, bro, as far as a group. Hot boys, bro. We forgot about the hot boys. 
See, when we say groups, you got different types of groups. You got two member groups, then you got four member groups, then you got whole cliques. Right. So it's like, damn, nigga, where it's Hot Boy, it was a group, but that also it was a clique. Everybody, yeah, but everybody was their own individual artist. Yeah, man, so it's kind of hard. I guess I'm. we we, we really just want to, because we got to paint the narrative on that right. to keep the people from just being confused. We paint it as the groups who only really did group music in the beginning. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like, A-Ball and MJG, they really, in the beginning, kind of was focused uh, on being a group. I mean, A-Ball was doing his own little single shit, but it was like, nigga, we still really right. just a motherfucking UGK. group. UGK. UGK always was focused on 2D each other. Westside Connection kind of was on their own terms, right. and they came together. Right. But that shit was lit to me. And, uh, shit, damn. There's so, it's so many legendary groups when you think about it. Right. You got G-Unit. Yeah, G that shit was a crazy ass group. They uh, had a big impact. Very big impact, man. And they controlled that shit for like five years. That's hard. That's hard to do. That's hard to fucking do. So shout out to them.